you're going to see a demonstration on how to check for clonus. In our previous review, we talked about preeclampsia. And two of the things that we stressed in that lecture was that we needed to check for hyperreflexia and clonus, specifically ankle clonus. Because if those two things are present, it indicates that our central nervous system is really stressed out and there's a risk for seizures. So let me show you how to check for clonus and what a positive result looks like. First, what you want to do is you want to have the patient setting and dangling their feet. Then you're going to take your hand and you're going to support the lower leg that you want to test. And you are going to dorsiflex the foot. So point it upwards quickly and look for the response and then let it go. And that's a normal response that would be a negative clonus. A positive clonus, you do the same thing. You're going to quickly dorsiflex the foot and you're going to look for its response. A positive response would be that the foot starts to bounce or beat at least three or more times and that would be considered a positive clonus. 